Welcome back to Money and Your Life. I've been chatting with Raquel and Dean about their upcoming wedding, but it's now time that I introduce one of our experts, event planner Carmel Polino. Carmel, welcome to the show. Hi Chris, thanks for having me. Carmel, what is it that an event planner does? My role is to guide the bride and groom through the steps to achieve the wedding of their dreams. So you can actually allow them to achieve the wedding of their dreams with a modest budget? Absolutely, and that's what I'm here for today. Hi Raquel, hi Dean. Um, I'm here today to discuss some planning for your special day. I'm really, really pleased to give you some information on some budget tips. First of all, um, I believe you're happy to get married in a chapel. Mm -hmm. And have you considered a reception centre for this event? Um, we've had a look at a few and I've done a bit of research online and they seem to be you know, quite expensive. Yeah. Um, even ones that are just sort of at local pubs were yep. still over $100 a head. Yes, uh, that's very common for reception centres. Have you thought about a restaurant? No, that, no, that's something I hadn't considered. Okay, well I'm here to tell you that the restaurants often close specifically for a function if there are around a hundred guests, do you think you could cater for a hundred there? Yeah, well when we um, spoke with Chris, that's what we sort of cut our numbers down to, around a hundred guests. Fabulous. Well, a restaurant can offer three and four course meals, sometimes up to five, for around $50 a head. Wow, that's pretty good. So that's a saving of $7,000 just on the reception costs. That's right, Chris, $7,000. And that's where we spend the money on some little fun factors, if we can bring that to the party. First of all, we'll talk about the um, next step, would be possibly the invitations for those people. Have you looked at where you might get your invitations from, source your invitations from? Um, I've looked again online and, um, yeah, um, they seem to be quite expensive, like some of them are about $5 per invitation. Right. Well, online's a great place to start because, you know, if you use some of those ideas online, you can actually make them yourself. It means a little bit of time, but it actually brings the bridal party together and it's something that Dean can help you with. Dean, how would you feel about helping Raquel out at home in the lounge one night making the invitations? Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah. I wouldn't do anything, really. That can save you hundreds of dollars, quite often from my experience. People find that it saves hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So there's another tip for you. How about a theme? Do you have a theme for these invitations? Any colours? Um, I guess just in the colour theme that we've been thinking about for the wedding, which is red, black and white. So You can create some fabulous, fabulous invitations with those colours. The black and white theme is quite popular and it's very easily um, sourced so I can actually help you dress if we choose to do the restaurant theme I can actually help you dress with some black sashes and black table runners and keep it simple and quite inexpensive and then if you like take the time for yourself to go out even to two dollar shops and you can source some gorgeous little mirrors or little decorations to dress the table if you keep it simple and I can guide you with that there you can save again probably over a thousand dollars Another tip I'd have for you, Raquel, as the bride, is I assume you're paying for your hair and makeup and your bridesmaid's hair and makeup. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it may not seem so nice, but sometimes a bride delegates the cost to the, bride, uh, the bridesmaids. However, if you use your local hairdresser or your usual hairdresser, quite often they can save you a lot of money. Sometimes they can do your hair and you can use the bridesmaids um, can come along on the day and have their makeup done at a cheaper rate because she's your local hairdresser. So it's really good to make sure you compare prices with expert bridal hair and makeup artists and your own hairdresser. If you choose to actually pay for your bridesmaids hair and makeup, I suggest you go to the salon that you already attend to. Dean, do you go to your local barber for a haircut? Where do you get your haircut? In my bathroom. <laughs> I figure Most Raquel does your hair. No, I've actually grown it for the wedding. Raquel, does your hairdresser deal with men's hairstyles? Yes. Well, I would suggest there, there's be a saving just to go there and take Dean along with you. 
I would highly recommend that you go and get some pricing and then I'd also recommend that you confirm pricing before the wedding event and before you confirm who you're actually going to delegate the tasks to. Um, you have Ethan, who's a one-year-old. Is Ethan going to be looked after on the day? We haven't actually discussed it yet, but I'm hoping that um, between Dean's niece and you know, my brothers that they can keep an eye on him. On okay, so is Ethan actually going to be a part of the bridal party? Um, Ethan is going to be a page boy, um, but he's got sort of someone that will be giving him some assistance. So Dean, have you considered hiring or buying your suits? No, I'm going to hire. You know, we can get you some savings with buying the suits. No, I'll probably hire because I'll never wear it again. Well Dean, by buying the suit, you're actually going to get your money back if you sold it online. Have you thought uh, of that? Something to consider. Well, let's go with that. And have you got any colours in mind? Yeah, black. Just straight black. Okay, and Raquel, I assume the black and white theme is going to go through with the bridesmaids? Yes. That's something I'm um, thought of. Obviously, I don't want them to think that they'll be back for Collingwood or anything, so we'll be throwing some red flowers in there. That's fantastic. I can actually get you some great savings with that colour scheme alone with some fantastic table runners and some chair sashes and maybe if you consider going to some two dollar shops we can actually get some great mirror effects and some simple vases and maybe just a simple red flower to continue the, th the theme through. That's also um, a great colour scheme for the invitations. So with all these savings I'd like to ask you what's a fun factor you'd like to bring into the party on the night? Um, I guess I'd just like people to have fun and um, relax a bit. Yep. Um, one of the things we usually do at a lot of our parties is at a certain point in the evening the wig um, bucket comes out and everyone puts wigs and dresses up. Yep. So it would be good if we could do something along those lines at the yep. wedding. Yep. Um, I've looked into some photo booths, so the old fashioned photo booths that yep. come with props so you know people can get dressed up and take photos of themselves. That sounds like so much fun. Well. With all these savings that I'd like to present to you, I'm budgeting about 12000 or just under to get your ideal wedding party. How does that sound? That sounds really good. Yeah, it better than 27 <laughs> <laughs> Okay then, well thank you guys. Over to you Chris. Thanks Carmel. Stick around, because after the break we'll see how Raquel and Dean's big day went.